Assalamu alaikum. Peace be upon you to all. Welcome to Al Taja World Motivational Speech. Hi friends, I am Aisha. In this video, I am going to give a speech about Dua of Stories, Episode 1. A sunny Sunday morning, Iman started to prepare breakfast as usual. Hariya, who is six and goes to preschool, and Zion, who is nine and goes to third year class, were awake, too. They washed their hands and faces and came to their mother. They wished her good morning and helped to lay the table. Dr. Omar also came to the table and said to them, You have prepared the breakfast, so it is my turn to pour the tea. Together the whole family recited, Bismillah, and started to have breakfast. Dr. Omar was a children's doctor. He was very hard working and liked his job very much. He took care of his little patients as if they were his own children and did his best to cure them quickly. As for Ayman, she was a primary school teacher. She took care of all her students' problems and treated them kindly and with tenderness. At breakfast, Dr. Omar said, Children, I have news for you. Today, we're invited to your Uncle Mahmoud's house for dinner. God willing, we'll go there in the evening. Hariya and Zion were very happy with this news because they loved to go visiting. They finished their breakfast and offered the blessing. They said, Alhamdulillah praise is due to Allah for everything he gave us and together they cleared the table. The day was turning into evening. Hariya was thinking about what to wear. Finally, she decided to wear her pink skirt and purple cardigan. Her mother had taught her to wear nice clean clothes when going on a visit. That evening, everyone in the family got ready and they set off to go to Uncle Mahmoud's. Uncle Mahmoud and Aunt Kulsum had three children, Azra, who was ten, Babar who was seven and Aram who was only two. They were a happy and peaceful family. Dua number one. Let's pray every day. O oh Allah, you gave us your blessings, and we ate our fill. You taught us to smile, and we smiled at each other for your sake. You taught us love, and we loved and we were loved for your sake. You gave us a house and sent happiness and guests to it. You taught us to pray, and now do not let us forget to pray to you every day. Amin. Dr. Omar and his family came to Uncle Mahmoud's. The children sat and chatted with their elders for a while. Then they went to another room to play. Iman went with Aunt Kulsum to the kitchen to help get everything ready. The parents and the children sat at the table together. Mr. Mahmood recited, Bismillah, a little loudly so that those who forgot would remember and say it too. They enjoyed their dinner. Afterwards, Azra offered the blessing. They went to the guest room to drink tea. During the conversation, Uncle Mahmood said that it was important to pray together as a family. He said they taught their children not only to pray in difficult times or when they wanted something, but every day and for everything. Dua number two. The darkness of the night, O oh Allah. Light up our hearts with your light in the darkness of the night. Bring us to a peaceful daylight. Amin. When they came home, Dr. Omar and his family had a short conversation. They all liked the idea of Uncle Mahmoud's, a prayer for every day. So, all of them decided that they would pray every day. They started this program immediately. Zion wanted to recite the prayer for this beautiful night. They all wished each other, good night. May Allah give you peace. Later on, everyone went to his room and slept peacefully. Dua number three. The food of our faith, O Allah. You made us love praying. You taught us the key to your grace. You made us taste the food of our faith. We thank you so much. Amin. Hariya asked her father, does Allah accept all our prayers? My daughter, Allah said, pray to me and I shall accept your prayers. If you didn't pray, why would your Lord care about you? He would be ashamed of leaving a person's hands empty if he raised them to him in prayer. When we say, O oh Allah, for something, Allah will say, yes, my servant, here it is. Iman added to his words and said, Children, the Prophet also said, Prayer protects against difficulties. Prayer is the key to Allah's grace. Dr. Omar continued, saying, And I have one more hadith. When one of you prays, the other one should say Amin to his prayer. The children said that now they loved praying even more. 
So friends today we taught about pray every day and seeking Allah's blessings, and say Bismillah for start everything, say Alhamdulillah thanks to Allah for every moment, and ask protection from darkness of night at sleeping time, and asking Dua for the food of our faith O oh Allah, you made us love praying, you taught us the key to your grace, you made us taste the food of our faith, we thanks to Allah for giving food for fulfill our hunger, Amin. Thank you friends. I will meet you in a next interesting Dua of Stories episode. Please give your support by like my videos, subscribe and press bell icon for more future videos notification. Subscribe and press bell icon. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuhu. Peace be upon you to all.